All right, another commentary. Here we go. Um, oh, here's my intro. Um, <laughs> I was kind of—I didn't really want to put my name in the intro. It seems kind of—I don't know—full of myself, but uh, I don't know. It looked cool. I was playing around with the colors and the fonts, and I don't know. The storm is coming. It looks cool. That's all. So, um, uh, anyway, here's a. Um, well, I get, I've done about like five of these uh, commentaries, but uh, they're all unlisted now. I'm kind of, I didn't really like how I sounded on them. Uh, I might release them, but anyway, I, uh, this is a Daniel match. Um, I'm just showing Area Three. The there's really no. That's where the fun begins. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I got a team here again. Casino. Um, I like this map, you know, at least for Daniel. Well, okay, so anyway, here, what goes on here? Uh, yeah, I get skill costed. This is when I usually want to do setups, but I can't because of the uh, Jan skill cost. So I have Mr. X, so I may as well just throw him down and just kind of time stall him out. Kind of just wait outside, wait for them. They're not going to come out, but I at least get like, what, 40, like a minute off the clock. So, um, yeah, nothing much really going on here. Um, they just try shooting at me. I don't know. It's a, nothing interesting happens right now. But, uh, yeah, these are these are fun though. Uh, these commentaries, I'm getting used to them. Uh, getting used to talking more. Okay, so Mr. X is gone. Um, I gotta see where the core is. Where is it? Is that on this side? Yeah, it's, this is like the worst core spawn on Casino. Uh, again, see, I had nothing, I had no setups. Um, the preset's kind of weird, I don't even know what the preset is. I, I can't remember last time I changed it. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to attack and make a stand. Get some time off. Uh, dealers are great for that. Especially, um, on this build. Alright, so I'm just trying to set up the, uh, the core room here. I don't have much time. Uh, it sucks, because you put down uh, creatures and they take at least five seconds to get off. And there's only one camera in here. It's so unfair. So, camera's lost. Um, I'm not giving up the area just yet. I'm just going from behind and just going to get some dealer claws off them. Of course, I get them on the stairs. Uh, endurance is uh, nullified on the, on stairs. <laughs> um, wish it wasn't like that, but it is. Uh, I go for a back bite. I love them. I love me those back bites. Uh, yeah, Sam's on the core, so I'm like, okay, this this area's lost. I mean, what can I do? So, may as well set up the main area. Uh, it's hard to decide. It's my casino is kind of tricky. It's like, um, you know, if you're doing like a spam build, should I set up in the main area and then, or should I be patient and you know set up the uh, the core room area? So it's hard. But with this build, you could probably do both. I'll just throw down a few creatures as backup and take control of a dealer because that's kind of my strategy with this build. I just put on as much cr many creatures as I can and I usually take control of the dealers only. Um, I hate controlling the the detonators I kind of put like you know behind doors and uh, by the cores but I control them if you know it's, they're kind of hard to because they're really weak they get taken out easily. So yeah I get to go cost it again. Um, I don't know, I really have like no time, so I think I hit, yeah, I hit discount when it costs five. Uh, yeah, not very wise by me. Okay, so I, I don't have much time to set up. Uh, cams are under attack, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know why I'm just giving it to him. So I have no choice but to uh, recover the camera. I hate doing this. I wonder how many controllers are broken because of it. I don't even want to think about it. So again, I'm controlling another dealer. Sam's on the core. That's scary. Uh, I hate seeing Sam's on cores. You know that core is just going to be gone in like five seconds. So yep, I give up another area. Doesn't look good. Um, but this time, uh, I can probably ambush them outside. You know, at least with the detonator. Uh, with this build, I just run a little bit of health and uh, attack power and, and infection. I know it just seems kind of. That's really all I can do. I mean, dealer. I mean, when you're on a dealer or a detonator, you want them to do deal damage. You know, you don't want them. Health isn't really important, but you get the time off, I guess, if they have more health. But 
If you're doing more of like a Ren biting build, you probably want more health. That way they don't get killed when they're going for grabs. But with this build, it, it, see, I, I use all the, I don't know, kind of the gimmick creatures, I guess you can call them. They each have like their own like unique abilities. Uh, I think that's the way it's meant to be played, this unnatural selection. You know, just use all these uh, these types of creatures. No regular zombies. I, I have like an imposter. You know, imposters are the best. It's just so chaotic. You know, that's why I love Dan playing as Daniel. His matches are always chaotic. They're always um, intense and never a dull moment. Never. You're always like doing something. You're always controlling. You're putting some creatures down. Get some grabs off. Depending on the creature that you're, you know, using, you'll, you know, you know, blow them up or you'll get some. You'll jump on top of them. You know, with the dealer uh, or the Nia. I don't. Or the gesture. I don't really control the gestures. I usually put them off to the side so that way they do the scream. The survivors get stunned, and then they get bit or get blown up by a detonator. Uh, this is a bad move by me. It's stupid. I just knock all my creatures down. I get a little overzealous, I guess you could say. Yeah, with detonators. Um, okay, so I'm setting up the room. Um, I'm just gonna I have no energy, so I may as well drop X. Uh, I should have went from behind, but I didn't. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just trying to. Scare them away, I guess. But this actually kind of works in my favor. Because I'm just trying to chase Sam away. I think I catch two of them. I'm not sure. Do I? Yeah, I downed Martin and I think Jan. Yep. Okay, so I got my map up. I want to see where everybody is. Uh, so, okay, so Valerie's here. I don't know. I should have went around the back, but... So, right, I, I caught her, so that's a big win for me. Um, I almost got a team wipe. But uh, Sam went to the uh, save room. Okay, so here we go again, just uh, using X as a time staller. It's, I don't really like doing that, but I have no choice. I'd rather, uh, you know, attack the survivors with him. But sometimes you can't. And Mr. X is easily avoidable. So he's not that strong. I always thought Infinex was a really stupid build. Uh, so anyway, uh, skill cost, uh, yeah, I can spend through it since I have all the bioenergy, but uh, luckily my AI dealer caught him. And the thing about the skill cost is it actually increases your bioenergy, your recharge speed, because uh, with the equilibrium idea, the higher cost of cards in your hand, the more energy you recharge. So when Jen hits her skill cost, you actually, you're actually doing you a favor, kind of. These are cool moments. I get blinded, flashed, and control of a dealer. Uh, here's a mistake I made. I got exited at the dealer, and they're on my cam, so I should have stayed in the dealer. I have a bad habit of just staying in, or exiting out of creatures. I usually like to, you know, if I have a lot of creatures on the field, like as Daniel, I usually like to go into one, get my thing in, you know, whatever, a grab or bite, uh, then exit out of them and try to control another creature and kind of, you know, kind of do like a chain attack, I guess you could say. All right, so all the cores are dead. Um, I'm just gonna just try to down the Jan here. Uh, I could have, but uh, I think I go for a grab here, and then yeah, the detonator just blows me off. There's here's me again controlling a dealer. Uh, exits pulled. I don't know. Well, they should have done that. But uh, anyway, um, I'm just trying to stop these guys, and luckily the Sam threw a stun grenade. <laughs> Good thing he didn't save it. So, I uh, really have no choice but to throw down as many creatures as I can. Especially some ivies. Uh, the ivies actually come in clutch here. I think one of them gets a grab. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I, downed, I downed Sam somehow. I don't know how I did that. I think it was a detonator, maybe. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just, um, just kind of snowballs from here in this little stairwell. It's a uh, great one. <laughs> I've Came back from so many deficits because of this area. So the ivies are wreaking havoc, and I'm in a dealer. So notice the pattern. I'm always in the, trying to control a dealer. Uh, okay, so I drop X and I'm just gonna try to stop them. So this is a really fun match. Um, I got tons of viewers on. It was on it was streaming on Twitch. Uh, the mouse mouse is Twitch. I think I got like 45 viewers, but um, yeah, really, uh, 
really interesting match, very fun. Uh, area 1 and 2, I don't know, I don't want to show too much. But uh, I can't talk for that long. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I downed two of them, two of them escape. Um, yeah, that's game. So, uh, yeah, very fun match, probably one of my most favorite matches in recent memory. And, yep, that's a wrap. Um, so, like I said, I've done... Oh, here's my outro. I like it. <laughs> but, yeah, I've, I've done, like, five of these, and uh, they're unlisted, but I don't know if I want to release them. But, uh, yeah, these are getting fun, and, uh, yeah, hopefully I can do some more of these.